all right what is up everybody welcome back to the channel so uh gonna get to do possibly some surprise drifting this weekend so the first order of business today is i'm gonna have to take out the e46 and uh just make sure it still works and get it all prepped for the event but what you're really here for and the reason why you probably clicked on this video is today we are going to start working on the segway go-kart pro 2 drift cart build so the goal here um basically from the factory if you watch a lot of reviews everybody's like oh it drifts so good i love it it drifts so good and then they go and they do like a little half skid spin out thing and then that's it um and that's not really what i'm looking for from a drift cart so the goal is to build this into a truly viable drift cart that can go and skid with my friends that have battle aero carts and, and other dedicated drift cart builds um so today all we're going to really do with it most likely um is kind of put it through his paces. I'm going to take it out and do some, do a little test drive and just kind of see what the limitations are and what things I'm going to need to change about it. Um, but for now, I'm going to go take this on a little test drive and see if it even starts. Uh, and then after that, we'll be back to start on the drift cart. All right, so the BMW is running good, so that's good. And then uh, that means that now it's time to take this thing out for a spin and see what it can do. All right, let's put this thing in race mode. Let's roll. First, we're going to try and see if we can hit some donuts in this. Traction, it really, it really wants to grab back on. And these are, I mean, brand new tires. You can tell that they're a more rubbery material than I would ever want for for a tire on a drift cart. So that's definitely going to be uh, one thing that we have to have to deal with. Let's try uh, try one more time. Everybody says this thing is want, not want to drift. They, they want to pull this lever, which is sure cool. It gets you to skid for a second, but that's not what we're doing. And the left foot brake, I'll show you how that works. So, actually, I still went to reverse. So, left foot brake kind of locks it. It's not, I won't say it locks it. it was, whew, lifted up the whole front wheel on that one. All right, so. Got a couple things to work with here. We're gonna take it back to the garage and uh, and look over a couple more things and, and then uh, start to figure out the plan of how we want to move forward with this. All right, so we got a couple things uh, to work on here. So one. The tire wear is, is awful. Uh, like, I mean, I drove this for what? Five minutes, maybe? Did a couple crappy donuts. And there's all the, there's all the signs of wear and something. It's, it's kind of a pretty soft compound for something that I would, that is marketed as, as a drift tire. Um, 
So I think what we're going to try to do is figure out a way to get these PVC sleeves on them. And I think that's just solved a lot of problems um, with it gripping up and, and make it slide a little bit easier. The next thing that we're also going to need to definitely do is that is almost no steering angle right there. So I haven't measured it. I'm going to measure it uh, later, but I mean, that is very, very little steering steering angle. So definitely going to need to address that issue as well and, uh, and get, get some more lock there. So I think those are the two things we're going to focus on for now. Um, I already actually have the, the angle kit ordered, so that's going to get in here hopefully pretty soon, and we'll get that on there and uh, then figure out the solution for the, the rear tires. And then, uh, you know, I think that's going to be the two things that we focus on for now, along with some other co kind of cosmetic and functional things. Um, nothing too crazy for the time being, um, but please, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode.